Hi everyone, Mrs. A here. We are looking at simplifying polynomials today. So I have here a polynomial expression. It's kind of complicated. We're going to simplify. And when we say simplify, um, we're going to, well, expand first. That means distribute all of the multiplication that we have and then collect like terms. So that's just working on our algebra skills here. So let's just talk about what I noticed first. I have this coefficient of two, and I have a binomial times a binomial, and then I've got a minus, and here this three minus a squared, that's a binomial times a binomial, so that is a three minus a times three minus a, be careful with that. And then here we have a four, and we can just distribute the four. So when I have a situation where I have a binomial times a binomial, and also multiplying with a coefficient, I like to multiply the two binomials together first and then distribute the coefficient after. And I'll do the same thing with the negative here. You don't have to do it that way. You can distribute the two, but be very careful when you do that because if you're gonna multiply the two, you have to do two times only one of the binomials, not both of them. And that tends to be an area where we make a common mistake. So just be really careful if you choose to distribute the two first, only do it into one of these brackets, not both. Otherwise you're multiplying by four. All right, so I'm going to keep the two on the outside, like I said, and I'm going to go ahead and distribute here. So um, remember when we have a binomial times a binomial, we want to do each term in one set of brackets times each term in the other set of brackets. We've done this before, this distributing. So just be careful when you do it, make sure that you're um, multiplying everything with everything like you're supposed to, okay? So we have 3a times a, that's plus 3a squared, and then 3a times negative 6 is minus 18a, then 4 times a is going to be plus 4a, and then 4 times negative 6 is minus 24. Okay, um, I see that I made a mistake, I'm sorry, let me go back here, and that should have been a bracket, not a plus, my mistake, and then close my bracket here, and I'm multiplying that with 2. So make note that I made that error there, please, and, and fix that in your work if you're following along with me. Okay, now let's do the next one. So we have the minus. We're gonna put a bracket this time and I'm gonna make sure I don't make that mistake again. Okay, so this actually means three minus a times three minus a, be careful. And now we're gonna distribute in the same way. So three times three is nine. Three times negative a is minus 3a, and then we have another minus 3a, and then negative a times negative a is positive a squared, like this. And finally, here, I'll go ahead and distribute this 4 in. Why not? I can do it now or I can do it in the next step. It doesn't matter. And that's going to leave me with plus 20 and then minus 4a, like this. Okay, so now let's go back and distribute the coefficients. So the uh, wait a second, I'll stop and I'll say actually, I before I distribute, I want to collect my like terms inside. I would do that first, but it actually doesn't matter. So I'm going to wait on that distributing and here collect those like terms. So I'll have a minus 14a there and then minus 24 like this. And then here leave my minus and collect my like terms inside. That's going to have a minus 6a plus a squared, and we still have the plus 20 and the minus 4a at the end. Okay, now let's distribute the two here and the negative one here. I'm going kind of fast here because I know that this is stuff that we already know. We're kind of just reviewing how to work with these longer polynomials. So when I distribute, two times three gives me six, and then I have a squared. Two times negative 14 is negative 28, and two times negative 24 is negative 48. Good, and notice the brackets now are gone because we've distributed. Let's distribute the negative one now. So minus nine plus six a minus a squared. And then we have the plus 20 and minus four a. All right, so we're gonna collect like terms now. I have an a squared term here and an a squared term here. And I have an a term here and an a term here and an a term here and then i've got the constant a constant and a constant so let's collect like terms everybody 
the 6a squared minus a squared is 5a squared. We have negative 28a plus 6a minus 4a, and that is minus 26a. And then negative 48 minus 9 plus 20, I think is minus 37. Okay, let's check and make sure we don't have any more like terms. They're all different terms. And so that's it. That is completely simplified and we are done. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.